Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit for Tuesday, August the 1st, 2023. And August doesn't mean cooler weather, but it does mean that we are a little bit closer to cooler weather. I hope you got some of that rain last night. This morning, we continue, though, one of the greatest things I ever heard series with number two. And number two came to me through the person of Miss Marilyn Orton, one of God's choice servants uh, at the time in Missouri. And I heard this from her in the mid 90s, I guess. And it just stood my world on end and caused me to realize the truth thereof. So here it, here it is, as uh, I remember hearing it and as I have often quoted it uh, from Miss Marilyn Orton. And then I actually went and found the original. She was very clear that she was quoting someone else and giving uh, reference to someone else who came up with it. But here we go. Here it is, as Miss Marilyn told me, and as I have oft repeated it, if you want to know how much of a servant you are, watch how you react to it when someone treats you like one. Wow. One more time. If you want to know how much of a servant you are, Watch how you react to it when someone treats you like one. There's a whole lot of material right there for us to think about, pray about, ponder. So I went and found the original according to Google and according to several sources. The original uh, person to speak these words was Dawson Trotman. And here is the quotation as he said it. How do you know if you are a servant? by how you react when someone treats you like one. That's so powerful. How do you know if you're a servant? By how you react when someone treats you like one. So let me point some scripture out to you that I think will illustrate this point. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, do you realize how heartbreaking this had to be for Jesus? This is very close to the end of the Gospel of Luke. And listen to what's going on. Then they began, the disciples began to argue among themselves about who would be the greatest among them. Jesus told them, in this world, the kings and great men lord it over their people, yet they are called friends of the people. But among you, it will be different. Those who are the greatest among you should take the lowest rank, and the leader should be like a servant. Who is more important, the one who sits at the table or the one who serves? The one who sits at the table, of course, but not here. For I am among you as one who serves. Okay, there's the scripture. I think it has to be self-evident how disappointing it was to Jesus that this close to the end of his earthly ministry, they're still arguing and jockeying for position about who's going to be the most important in the kingdom. But here are two statements that I want you to hear that are from me and I think they will stand you in good stead. Number one, trying to put other people in subjection to you always causes conflict. I stand by it. Trying to put other people in subjection to you always causes conflict. Number two, I have never seen serving someone cause a conflict. I've never seen serving someone cause a conflict. So what do I do at 6.08 in the morning on August the 1st, 2023? Make sure your flesh is dead and your armor is on tight because people will treat you like a servant. And that you are. You are a servant of Christ and the servant of everyone you meet. It helped me a long time ago to ask the Lord to help me be his servant and to help me be the servant of everyone I meet. Maybe we should try it together. Let me pray for us. Lord God, we uh, come to you asking you to give us grace to live in and thrive in this world uh, that begins with our quickening, being made alive in Christ, repentance, faith, and a whole new order. God, we ask you today to help us not recoil against being a servant, but Lord, help us to crave it, being like you, lifting other people up, strengthening them and serving them. So God, today, help us to keep our flesh crucified, our Christian armor on tight. And Lord, would you help us to serve you well and would you help us to be the servant of everyone that we meet 
for your glory and for the blessing of your people. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.